it's it's odd. I, I still haven't quite gotten used to it. When you start the car, it doesn't make that vroom vroom sound. It's, it just hums. Meet David Sandalo, a fellow at the Brookings Institute who's working to help break America's addiction to oil. He recently began driving a plug-in electric hybrid vehicle, a car that can get up to 150 no, miles per gallon. Put on this car. Um, I, I've been getting a, uh, in this car about 80, 70, 70 to 80. Um, one of the people who's been driving it told me they were getting like 120, 130. They're going to give me a driving lesson on how I can do better. As the recent author of Freedom from Oil, he believes our oil addiction is a grave problem, at the root of which is our transportation industry. If you're, if you're thirsty and you don't feel like drinking a soda, you can drink water or orange juice. If you feel like relaxing and you don't want to um, watch TV, you go to a movie, you write a book. If you want to go someplace outside of your neighborhood and you don't want to use oil, you're basically out of luck. Our entire transportation system depends upon using petroleum, and it seems normal to us because we grew up with that, our parents grew up with that, our grandparents grew up with that, but it's actually deeply abnormal. He sees the 2008 presidential election as a historic opportunity to move America forward on energy. All over the United States, people think uh, we need to reduce our oil dependence. That's why he wrote his book as a series of memos to the next president detailing how America can reduce its reliance on fossil fuels. This is a huge, slow-pitch softball waiting for any politician who wants to grab the bat and hit it out of the park. I think they can, they can change history by doing it. He believes that plug-in hybrid vehicles, as well as greater uses of renewable sources of energy like wind, solar, and biofuels can be part of the answer. I think, I think 30 years from now, my grandchildren might look at my children, who are now teenagers, and they might say, well, what do you mean gas station? What's a gas station? Uh, and uh, they'll say, oh, back when I was growing up, the only way that you could move your car was to put gasoline in it. And they'll say, oh, that seems so old fashioned. I believe that w with the passion, with the attention, with the energy, with the funds that are going into this whole clean energy area, we're going to change the world.